Hey guys, Tiger TCSHD here. Um, I just got Cube World. Well, actually, I, no, I got like a week or two ago. I think I got like two, three weeks. I don't know. But I'm gonna do a let's play sort of thing. Wait, sorry, I'm going too fast. So I'm gonna press start game. That was weird. Um, we're gonna create a character. That's my character I use. But this one's gonna be for my videos. Why am I staring at your butt? Um, so it starts out as a human, but you could change it to an elf, a dwarf, an orc, a goblin, a lizard, undead, or frogman. Personally, I think I'm going to be undead, a male. I'm not sure if I want to be a mage or a rogue. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to be a rogue. Yeah. I want to change my face to that. My hair cut. And make it black. There we go. And I'm just going to name him... I don't know. Let's see. I'm just gonna name him. I guess I'll just name him Tucker. I don't know. You can. I think you can change your name whenever you feel like it. Um, so we're gonna make a new world. The seed. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five. And let's play world. So our character, and we're going to create the world. Um, you have to type in a seed. One, two, three, four, five is the seed that I'm gonna use. Um, so when you walk around, you kind of, you know, when you're in a world, um, you kind of start out like this actually, but I like to zoom out so just so you can see better, because so you can see more around you. Um, if, you, if a little thing on the bottom right corner pops up, just press E. It means you can pick it up. We're going to collect a few things. Um, we'll, let's fight this bush. And we just got a logs. Um, those are big bulls. We're not going to fight animals right now. We're going to press M for the map. And this little symbol means a town. That symbol with the sword crossing means a quest. We're going to go to the town first. Um, yeah. Um, if you find plants, um, you can get them. So like this. Um, bushes are pretty good to get because they give you wood. They're not that hard to find, though. Um, I'll show you guys what wood does later. But, we're going to go up here. These little heart flowers, they're heart-shaped flowers. Get them, they're very good, because when you have low health, you drink potions, and you need heart flowers to make potions. So, let's see, I need to go that way. Um, those guys are bad, so we're gonna stand back. But I'm gonna let them kill those cows because, the, in case the cows drop something. Okay, they didn't drop anything. But so when you look at somebody, um, it's red means they're bad. Green. Well, red is bad, blue is good, and green means they're neutral until you attack them. When You can get pets by giving them a pet food. Green is almost every green, I think every green animal you can get as a pet, and some of the animals that are red. We're not going to do anything with them right now. Oh, a raccoon. 
So right now we're just going to stay away from anything with a red heart. Red health bar. Um, right, here, wait. right now if you press X, well first let me tell you the controls. Um, it's just like on Minecraft, walking around. E is to pick up. Q is to drink a potion. Oh, I should have done that. R is to interact. It's usually to talk to people or open something. Um, X is your skills menu. C is to craft different items. B is your inventory. And M is your map. We're going to go to X right now. These are different skills. Every time you level up, you'll get two points. And you can use those skills to upgrade stuff. And when one skill is up, has, see it says it's a little zero. When that becomes a, when you make it a five, then you can get the next one. Um, let's see, these are your three attacks. You press one, two, and three to do those. Special attacks or moves and stuff. Um, this makes your pet stronger, you get more health. This makes you, you're able to ride your pet, if it's a rideable pet, and the more it's leveled up, the faster. That's climbing, hang gliding, swimming, and sailboarding. And then up here are your two skills that you can pick right away. Ninjas are, let's see, assassin or ninja. Assassins are specialized on sneaking and stealth attacks. Each special attack increases your stealth. Stealth increases damage, critical strike chance, and regenerates MP. Ninjas are quick melee fighters who are specialized on evasion and counterattacks. You dodge all attack while performing a special attack. Each time you dodge an attack, you gain 25 MP, and your next special attack will be critical. I'm going to keep Assassin right now. Um, don't worry about if you change it, you can always change back. You can change back later on. Um, so we're going to go to the town. Um, there's a little well. Um, there's farms scattered up around outside of the town. Um, some of them you can rob, some of them you can't. Um, see, blue, no matter how much I want to, even if I'm mad at him, I can't hurt him. He's just a cute little sheep. Um. The town is separated into four districts. Adventure District, which has little buildings of people who teach you how to... They're like teachers for whatever you are, um, like that l last one was for mages, this one is for rangers, and then there's a crafting district, which obvious, it has all the buildings you need to craft items, and the trade district is to trade uh, goods, and the pet district just has a bunch of pets. Um, so if you see a building with this, a little sign like this means it's usually a shop or a crafting place or something that's important. The rest of the buildings are usually just houses. I'm going to press R and talk to this lady. We have no money right now, but we will buy stuff. Soon. Um, I'm going to right click on that, which puts it into here. Those are things I sold. Now I have two copper. I'm going to buy this chocolate donut. Um, it's a pet food. If you hold it out in front of a mole, you'll get, well, a mole as a pet. Let's go to the crafting district. Um, you can zoom in to see all the symbols. So crafting district is up ahead. Oh, by the way, F is your lantern, in case it's night. Um, let's see, wait, first we need to find the... Where is it? 
Oh, okay, it's over this way. Um, we're gonna go over here, and this is a saw. Um, cubes are what you use to customize your weapons. We're gonna craft a cube. You, we need logs. We have three. Hold this down. And there you go. We just made three cubes. But our weapons aren't made of wood. Whoa. Okay. Let's see, a sword, two dag two daggers, sword, or I could use these fists. I think I'm gonna stick with the daggers right now. Hello lady. Um We don't really have any wood weapons, so, well, are these made of wood? Okay, so if you're going to customize something, I don't have what I need to customize it, but you just right click to put it into the customization, um, your scroll button, press it down and hold to move and move this. Um, I'll show you how to cu customize something later when we... It when I have something to customize. Um, so I'm gonna zoom back out. Um, let's go this way. Wait. This way. Um, so right now we're gonna stick close to the town in case we need to come back. But yeah, if you see an animal that's green, you can try to kill it if it doesn't look too hard. Like if it's a little innocent cat or a chicken or something. But because it'll get up your get your XP up until you're strong enough to fight other things like bosses and whatnot. Um, I'm going to go over here. Ooh, bats. Bats, 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 Batman. Um, crap. Wait, are they strong? Yes, they are. Not too strong, though. Wow, they weren't as strong as I thought we, they were going to be. I didn't realize they were that weak. And sometimes they'll drop random items. Right now, it just dropped a bow. We can't use it because we're not a ranger. So... Basically, all you were gonna do is sell it. Well, here's a little mushroom thing. Let me get that. I'm gonna walk around in a cave. So caves are good. Ooh, iron deposits. Okay, now I can show you. So when you find a little thing like that, that's basically your ore. Fight it, and it just drops, it'll drop nuggets. Ooh, these are mushrooms. I'm not really sure what they do yet. Keep looking around in case we find more iron. Like this. Um, we don't have a pet right now, but 
Well, get it. We're gonna get a pet soon. Cause I bought that chocolate donut, and that's the pet food for a mole. Oh, you want some of this too? Looks like Batman's not here to save you. Okay, then drop it. Okay. Oh, by the way, an inn, if it's nighttime, night, it's super dark, you can't see at all. And it lasts longer than in Minecraft. The daylight cycles are slower. If it's nighttime, talk. Go to the inn. Talk to this innkeeper. If it, but it has to be night, and it'll change today. Also, I that or every day it'll reset. So, tomorrow, in the, in the next, when it's night, talk to the innkeeper, and, well, it'll be back. Um, these little statues are respawn points, so when you, they're nothing, you just, when you die, you respawn next to one. Sometimes they're in a tree, and you respawn, and you're stuck in a tree, and that's fun, because you get to make a new world, because it sucks. But your characters cross worlds, so, you can... Select your character and go to a different world. You'll still have all your stuff. Oh god. I'm screwed. <laughs> Run away! Can they come in the door? Oh no, yes they can. Help me humans! Help me puny humans! Come on, people, help me. Go fight this lady some. Come on, fight her. Thank you. Oh no, they're killing the people. Why did I lead them in here? No. Okay, let's see. Which way are we gonna go? Let's go. Let's go that way. Hello, Garrick. What? Oh, uh, please don't, like, kill everybody in my town. These guys are pretty strong, though. If they're in these little spots. Is this guy? Where'd he go? We probably left to go fight people. Oh, if you hold down control, you can climb up, but once your stamina drains, you'll fall. Whoa, that was close. Oh! Oh, I survived. Also, if you fall, if you tumble, so let's say falling, and then you tumble, it'll take away some of the damage, if not all of it. Okay, ooh! See that little guy up there? He's a mole! So what we're gonna do is right click on the donut, and it'll put it down into our pet spot. We'll hold it out. And he's going to eat it. He'll have a heart. It'll grow bigger. And, ooh, now we have to pet mole. Press enter. And go slash name pet. And give him a name. Let's name you... 
you can um by the way you can always change the pet's name just take them out and you can change their name let's name them tunnels and if there's multiple pets that and they're all being tamed the first one to be finished being tamed will be your pet and the others will get mad and try to kill you but they shouldn't be that hard since they're simple little guys I knew the mole was over here one other cave so basically when when you have a pet you get this little box to put him away and just put him back here and bring him out here put them in your pet spot and they'll come out here so let's go into this cave press F to bring out our lantern and let's go into this cave pretty sad cave didn't even find one piece of ore Um, get him, get him, tunnels. By the way, if you didn't know, I called him tunnels because you know, moles dig tunnels. Also, if you if you sleep in a bed, um, your health goes back up and it restores everything. And it also makes the time go by faster. Ooh, so I'm gonna press R. Let's make some food. Uh oh, okay, never mind. Let's not make some food. Um, when you find a campfire, you can use it to cook foods. But we don't have anything to cook right now. Ooh, this you can use to make foods. Actually, um, the farms, it's smart to raid their pumpkins and pineapple slices. You, we can make this soup. That worked. Ooh, let's, let's take one of these guys now. Let's see if we can fight him. And he didn't drop anything. Let's go kill this plane runner. Let's just kill one, just because I need the XP. By the way, when you're eating food, you can't move while you're doing it, and they go a lot slower. So, that's why potions are better. But it's always good to have food on you in case you run out of potions. So, my mole died. Doesn't matter. He'll come back soon. It's like Pokemon. They faint, basically. Yep, there he is. Let's see how much money do we have? Zero copper. I need some copper.
By the way, if it's finished and you're still going, just somersault by pressing the scroll button down or attack or something. It'll get out. Let's go back to the city. Um, I think this video has been kind of long, so I'm going to end it here. In my next video, I'm going to go back to this city. And we're going to do some stuff. So, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.